Welcome back to eDepot. In this video, I will show eight secrets in Astro's Playroom. Number eight. Uh, if you look at the unlocked PlayStation 5 gamepad and the console very closely, you will notice that there are the four symbols, the PlayStation symbols. These symbols are on the uh, gamepad, they're called directional symbols. And both the console and the gamepad has those symbols in game and in real life. Number seven, you are unable to jump on top of the PlayStation 5 uh, from the headset, but there is a way to get on top. It requires a special move. And first you need to get on top of those uh, guns, the PlayStation guns. Go on the third PlayStation gun. And then the secret move you would do is to jump and then punch and then hover. So you press X and right after you press X, you press square and then hold X again. And you have to wait for the PlayStation 5 to spin around in that direction. So that's how you get on top of the PlayStation 5. Please hit the like button. This took a while to do. These are all the unlocked consoles. Okay, number six, you can take a shower if you go to Cooling Springs and Bot Beach. And you, instead of going, pulling the three strings, you can actually go under the shower and Astro Bot will take a shower. And notice his uh, eyes change into a special symbol too, showering. Okay, number five, you can ride dolphins in the hotel Hapalot. That's also in Cooling Springs. Now you can see the dolphin jump, and you can when he stops there, you can hop on and ride for a bit. But if you hit the, uh, the air mattress. So what you can do is you can jump in the water where he hops hops up and then what he will do is actually uh, push you out of the water so you're riding it Woo! there you go okay number four is similar to number five but in the same place but you can ride a bursting spring so just jump on and Asopa will actually just hop on top of the water. Okay, now for number three, Asopa has a secret zip line in his arm. So what you need to do is go to CPU Jungle in the Ray Trace Ruins section. It only happens this in this section for some reason. And in this section, there is a fan that blows a uh, strong wind when you get close. And when you release the, the normal line, the walk line, and the, the fan will uh, start blowing. At this exact place, if you walk away towards the uh, beginning or the end of the line you can try to jump off don't jump too far but if you jump just enough Astrobot will release his zip line hidden in his arm see that it's a secret move this doesn't happen at every line only at this place if you know other places it has that he does a special trick let me know but this is the only place I found out that he has a zip line in his arm Number two, you can get out of bounds in the CPU jungle render forest. 
Now, once the yellow drum is triggered down, look for the green guy. He'll push you into this secret place that's out of bounds. Now, only that green guy will do it. Okay, and he if you do it too slow, his uh, needles will kill you. So right after the yellow drum rolls off, just go ahead and go towards the wall and he should rush toward you and push you off. Now this is the out of bound area. This is where the green guy is. We are actually below the walkway where the yellow big drum roll down that you had to dodge. And if you go in a special angle, you can look out of bounds. Now, Japan Studio, the makers of this game, did a really good job. It's really, really hard to get out of bounds. And this is probably only one of the areas that you can actually go out of bounds. Now, if you jump down here, you will actually die. I will show uh, another area of the out of bounds place. Remember, you have to get the yellow drum, trigger the yellow drum to drop down, then dodge it. And when you go back, there should spawn three, uh, three colored uh, uh, needle type of robots. You have to wait for the green one. Right when the green one gets very close to you. You just get very close to the wall, that exact location that was shown earlier, and he should push you right through the wall. Now remember, you don't want to be uh, hanging around uh, near him uh, if you're not near the wall, because he will push his needles out and kill you. So, but uh, if you hop around, there's another place that you can go. Besides going underneath the walkway, the wooden walkway. Now in this area, if you walk carefully, there's a ledge. And I will try to go as far as possible without falling off. So there's a ledge here you can walk on. But even here, uh, if you turn at a certain angle, you can actually hop off again, but uh, down to a ledge below. So we'll walk carefully right here. And there's the ledge. And we'll walk down there. This is a this is a very nice area to explore if you like doing that. And the other area, there's also another small ledge you can hop onto. Uh, to you keep exploring. Uh, I will do that in this video. Just over this uh, edge right now. I'm just basically looking around to see all the areas that you are normally not allowed to see. You see the other edge. And below you can see the clouds. You're very close to the clouds below. Okay. The number one secret is the secret green room. It is SS using the same trick. Wait for the green guy and he'll push you through. Only the green guy pushes you through. So once you are through and if you look around, there's a green ledge up there. And if you hop toward the green ledge, you will fall down into a hole, but there's something stopping you from keep falling. And then turn right here and you look to the right, there is a green room. There is the green room. So there is the green room. Please hit that like button and please subscribe to see more secrets. If you watch videos, you should subscribe to give support to channel creators. So subscribe to Edible. If you like the background CPU jungle song, it's in my channel, so search for it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.